What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw Erling Haaland. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top. We're just gonna go counterclockwise down towards the bottom of the eye and then back up towards the top. Now let's leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we'll start by lining up the top of the circle on the right side, come all the way down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's add a fold along the top of the eyes for the brow. Starting on the left, come down and then bend that up, go to the right and do the same thing. And then we'll add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, we're gonna come in and then back out and we'll line that up on the right side. Let's place another circle in the center of the eye for the pupil, but we're gonna go in behind the highlight. So we'll start from the bottom, go all the way around, and then back out. And then we'll fill the pupils in black. Now let's move to the center and draw the bottom edge of the nose. We're gonna start over on the left, curve the nose, coming down and then up. Now let's move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Now from the bottom of the nose, let's step down and draw the mouth. We're gonna curve this down and then up. Let's add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Let's go back to the center, step down and add a small curve for the lower lip. Now let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we wanna step out, curve the head coming down. We wanna round up the chin just underneath the mouth. Go across and then bend that back up on the right. Now you wanna draw the bottom edge of the headband. Starting back on the left, go straight up. So we'll round this out, across the forehead and then back down on the right. Let's add in the ears. We'll start on the left side, bend the ear going up, come down, and then in. Let's line that up on the right. Let's add the fold along the top of the ear, the curve going up and out. And then on the inside, we're gonna draw a hook, going out and then back in. Let's go back to the left and draw the top edge of the headband. From the inside of the ear, we're gonna step out, I want to go a little bit higher in the center, it's a little bit thicker, and go all the way across towards the right, and then taper that back down on top of the ear. Now we want to part the hair in the center and blend this out towards the side. So we're going to start right in the middle, start with a straight line going all the way up towards the top of the head. And we'll start the layers on the side, starting on top of the ear, and bend this out, up, and then in. Let's add another layer, we're going to step down, go up, in, and then down. Now we're going to go back to that center line, curl this up, and just tuck that in along the side. Let's add that hairline along the side of the head. Start from the inside of the ear, then it's in, and then up underneath the headband. Now we want to brush the hair coming down underneath the ears. Starting on the left, bend this down and out, and just pull that back in. Now halfway along this curve, just gonna bend this down and then in underneath the head. Now we're gonna add a mole on the left cheek. So we're gonna start up here with a small C shape. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the body. We're gonna start with the collar, starting on the left, come down in the middle, and then back up towards the right. Let's go out to the side, draw the body, going out and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right, we're just gonna bend this out and then down towards the same height. Let's connect the hips with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. 
Now we're gonna add the Nike symbol on the top left. We start up here, come down, and then angle this up, aiming towards the collar. Go back to the outside, come around the bottom, and then up. Let's move over towards the right side and add that crest. Start with a straight line going across the top. And then from the side, we're gonna bend this down and then in towards the middle. Now you wanna add the number 23 in the center of the body. Let's start with the two on the outside and trace this around and then down towards the bottom and pull that in. Now we're just gonna trace out the left side. Let's move over and draw the number three. Starting on the inside, going all the way around the outside. And we'll trace the inside edge. Let's go to the center of the body, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. I'm leaving a small gap in the center. Let's go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel. We're going to bend the foot, coming down and then up. And then going back to the left side, let's draw the top of the foot and go up. I'm going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, and we'll curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now you want to go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg. Let's start with the left side. I'm going to bend this out, and then down on top of the foot. And then we'll go back down and add some detail to the feet. We're going to start by adding a thick sole along the bottom. So you want to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's add a toe cap. Starting from the outside, we're gonna bend this in and then down on both sides. And then from the top of the heel, come out and then down. From the top of the toe cap, let's separate the laces going up and then in. Now let's separate the laces with two curves along the top. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw on the bottom of the shorts with a curve coming down and then in on both sides. Let's leave a gap and draw that same curve for the top edge of the socks. And then we'll add a thick stripe across the center of the sock. Start with the top. Step down and draw that again. Now we're going to add a stripe on the side of the shorts. From the hip, we'll step in. Let's follow the curve of the leg coming all the way down. And then we'll add that same crest on the bottom left. Start with a straight line. And then that down and then in towards the middle. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. You wanna start halfway between the chin and the hip. So start the arm right here. Bend the arm going out and down towards the wrist. Let's line that up on the right side. And then from the wrist, we're gonna draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom curve of the thumb. We're gonna come down and just bend that up around that bracket, step down, go out, and then up. And then the third finger, we're gonna go out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the top of the arm on the inside, step down, add a curve going up and out for the sleeve. Let's add a half square on the outside of each arm for the badge. we come down, go up and in, and then back out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. And we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Erling Haaland. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you're a football fan, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.